Zentangle is a meditative art form that is a relaxing method of creating abstract art using structured patterns. It teaches and focuses on being mindful and present. Zentangle requires no artistic skills. When Zentangle meets Mandala, we get Zendalas. Welcome to Zendala Joy, 31 days, 31 Zendalas. Hello, I'm Sandhya Manne. I'm an artist and a certified Zentangle teacher. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing Zentangle, my own Zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles. Make sure you hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you do not miss out on any videos that I'm going to post throughout this month of October. It's day one today and we start with our first project. I am using string one from the PDF for today's Zendala. To get your instant free downloadable uh, PDF that has uh, 15 Zendala strings, sign up onto my newsletter. The link is in the description. For today's project, I'm going to work on a white Zendala tile with my black pen, pencil and stub. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. Hello there. So here we are, day one of our Zendala Joy, 31 days, 31 Zendalas. Um, so here is the PDF that you should have uh, got when you signed up or if you're already on my newsletter, you should have received it in the mail. Um, if not, do let me know, you send me an email and I'll help you get the uh, PDF. So this has about 15 strings which we will be uh, working uh, through throughout this month. So I have traced on uh, string 1 for today's session. So day 1 we are going to do string 1. Um, so get your ties ready and we shall get started with today's session. It's a beautiful uh, string, very simple, and uh, we shall, uh, so make sure you do your tracing light on your tile. I have made it slightly darker so it is clearly visible um, while recording. So we're going to start with this inner flower. So this is a, a eight pointed petal or eight petal flower um, so we're going to start with this inner petals so I'm not going to ink any of these lines yet as we go we shall see if it, if it requires to be inked then probably I will but uh, to begin with I'm not really worried about that so I'm going to start with flux which kind of goes out like this okay and I'm going to start here and kind of touch that that line there like that so my flux isn't uh, isn't really curvy it's more straight and it's just kind of looks more like a teardrop and now here these gaps I am going to fill it up with orbs or puffs so let's see I'm gonna add a nice big one right here and then fill the rest of it with smaller um, puffs so let's go ahead and do this. So I'm kind of being mindful of the string line and I am at this point for this particular uh, section I'm, I'm kind of trying to be in the line. So now I'm going to enhance my flux so I'm just going to go ahead add a line and a, do a couple of dots on my flux and at this point I'm also going to go back and fill in these gaps with 
solid black so I am using the filling as my um, you know to kind of create my edge okay so I'm not really worried about keeping my line straight uh, I like that it is it is not straight it is kind of very organic looking so there is my first petal now let's repeat the same thing in on our next next petal here so um, I want you to watch me if you if you are not very sure so I start like this I go about so my first petal is pretty much on the line there and then I pull out my next petal that kind of goes like this and I'm trying to touch this line so I'm pretty much working along this line right so now I have this petal done so let's go back and add some burps there it is now I'm going to add uh, the inner lines to enhance my flux here So now I go back and add black in these gaps here. Okay, so that is my petal number two done. Now let's go ahead and work on petal number three. So um, I like to fill in just like that. So I'm not really making a line, a solid line. Uh, on that string because I like this this kind of uh, organic finish okay. so let's do that now on petal number three so I start here I kind of go out and come on that line okay so I start with my next one go out come on that So notice I am working along this line. So and every time I pull out my flux, I'm making sure it kind of touches that line. It, it should hit that line and so now I'm gonna repeat the same thing on this petal. So we start again we start from this point and pull out a flux or a teardrop shape like this so I kind of go uh, reach up to this line and get finish it over the line and I'm gonna start again here pull out and I come like that so I kind of touch this outer line and come back in so I'm gonna do that again touch that and come back start again 
touch that and come back so I'm working along this particular line here this okay so so I have this one last okay so now I'm going to fill these gaps with burps so while I'm filling I'm making sure that I kind of stay along my pencil line my string line so I'm not going out of that I'm staying along that So now I go back and I fill these gaps and I kind of also fill uh, any gap around the line. So I'm not really making a solid incline but uh, I'm kind of just pulling everything together. So I want it like this which is not very straight, it is more organic looking. Um, it kind of makes the petal look more natural so we're not really going to ink this outline okay so now I'm enhancing my flux with a line and a couple of dots okay so I'm going to repeat this one more time real quick so you can all follow along okay so here okay. is our center flower um, all done now let's get to this section okay so for this section i am going to ink this uh, line so we have this diamond diamond kind of a shape mm. so here's what we're going to do we are going to aura this and leave a bit of a space and make another line another aura line right and again so we're gonna make bands like this okay so i am going to fill in i'm gonna fill in these wider uh, bands right so let's do that okay so then I'm going to fill this part and this part so I'm going to work with my B and pen so can be done faster Let's go ahead and fill this part as well. Okay. And I am going to now use my zero one and pull a line along this like this okay so I'm gonna repeat this again in my next section so so first thing is I'm gonna ink my section with my zero one micron
now I'm going to order this so and then leave a bit of a space and repeat that and now I'm going to do this again notice if you notice I am making my lines slightly curved okay so and then I'm gonna pull out my line here so pretty much got only two here which I think is fine so let's go ahead and fill them up Okay, so I'm going to repeat this in the rest of them. So here I have filled it all and it's all done. Now let's move on to the next layer. So here uh, I'm again going to ink my um, edges. So let's go ahead and ink that like that. Now here I am going to start somewhere here, right? And I'm going to or others and then again leave some space or others okay so I'm going to repeat this here again okay and now I am going to make a big V shape like this give an aura to that and give another aura line like that to that okay so now let's see what we can do here I am going to uh, make circles Okay, I'm going back to add black in those gaps here and in this space I am just going to go ahead and add lines this is um, a reticular which I have kind of improvised So I'm going to go ahead and add circles in this section as well and this last section I'm just going to fill this up. So here again let me just fill up all these little whites. Okay. So now here we can either fill it up but I am just going to pull out some lines like this like that okay so I'm going to repeat this again here so let's go ahead and do that um, so I'm inking the border or the outline first and then I am going to make Of circles like this with an aura line and I make another set of lines that goes like this on either side right and then from here I pull out a line that kind of comes to the center that and then I give an aura line for this that okay so now let's go ahead and start
start filling these up so I'm gonna add my circles or tipples or pops here going back to fill up those lines and this one I'm just gonna pull the lines out like this now let's repeat this here Okay, so here we are going to make lines. Done. Now again I'm going to add circles here. Like so I like the way this creates a meta tangle there so let's repeat this once again so we start with inking the outline right now I am going to start with this corner here so I make two lines like this now I make a wider set that goes like this and then another set like this like that okay so this is our, our frame like our framework and now we start with lines that goes like this and then circles so I go back and add black in those gaps then we are going to make lines notice how I'm making my lines slightly curved it's not it's not really straight that just makes it look interesting it gives a rounded effect that and now I'm gonna add so I've just added circles there and filled up those gaps and also filled up this top here okay so let's repeat this and rest of them so here we are all done so this was actually a fragment E15, uh, the triangle fragments, but I have kind of improvised it here so we can use it in this section. Now you can leave this as is at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and add 
uh, more filling in in these sections so here's what I'm going to do I am going to give an aura line like this and I'm going to continue with this set of lines that I have kind of drawn here and I'm going to pull this two out like this and also this so I'm kind of extending extending these lines out into that space right so now here I'm going to fill this entire thing up with solid black okay and this section I'm going to go ahead and make lines like this okay and I am going to go ahead and fill this alternating so it's filled in empty filled in empty filled in so I'm going to do this alternating okay so like that and here of course I'm going to make my circles going to add tiny circles here on the top and wherever I don't have space I'm just going to fill it up with solid black okay And here I'm just going to pull out lines that kind of goes like, like that. So we're going to repeat this all through. So let me just go ahead and show you one more time and then we can continue. So remember we have to aura. So go ahead and first aura the space and then start off making your lines like that so you're basically just extending this whole set this and we're going to fill this section up solid black and so here we are going to start with lines so I'm going to start filling these lines alternating so I have one black one white and then black again and white again so we're just going to alternate between black and white so there you go and here this section I'm going to make circles so I start with nice big circle so I am also going to go ahead and add these little circles right at the top and bottom so it depends if I don't have too much space I'm just going to fill it up uh, but since I had space here I'm going to fill it up with black so I like that looks very interesting and 
multiple of 9 like that. So I'm going to repeat this all around. So here we are. I'm all done with all the pen work. Now let's get to shading. So I'm going to start shading from the center. So I start right here. And remember this is my petal here. So I'm just going to go right behind that. Like that. And blend it out gently. So I'm going to repeat this all through. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add this all on all the petals. Okay, so we're done with this. Now uh, let's go ahead and add pencil. So I'm just going to add my pencil right here, 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 just on one side, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and add my pencil along this, and I am going to blend this out like this. So again, it's only going to be on one side. Okay, so maybe I can add a bit more. So I'm trying not to add my uh, pencil on the black that is already there. So basically we're just kind of adding pencil on one half of the of this uh, petal here, this section here. So let's go ahead and do that for all. Okay, so I'm just going to add and blend it out like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all of okay. them. So we are done with this flower, the center part. So I'm just going to add a bit of pencil right in the center and just blend it out just, just like that. And we are done with this. Now for this section, I am going to add my pencil right here like this. And I'm going to blend this inside. So let's do this in the next one as well. So we're going to go ahead and add uh, on all of them. So here we are all done with the shading. Now for this section I'm going to very lightly add my pencil right here like this along this line and like this. So I'm going to use my blender to blend in. So that's going to look like that. So uh, let's do this one more time. I'm going to add my pencil here and here along this line. Um, now if you haven't already signed up for the newsletter, then please do go ahead and sign up. 
um, so when you sign up you would get an instant download of uh, uh, a PDF with all the strings that we will be doing throughout this month so go grab that and have that ready for our sessions Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish all of this. So it's all done. I did my shading all over and that looks lovely. So I'm going to put my initials and call it complete. Now where do I put my initials? So I'm going to put my initials right here. S M right um, now let's journal this so this is Zendala Joy D1 and today's date is 1st of October 2020 and I worked with Tangle Flux and Fragment E15 okay, so there you go I'll see you tomorrow with day 2 project hope you had fun on this project with me I would love to see your creation so head on to our FP group Zenbees where all the after party fun happens share your works there and check out the creations by other Zenbees if you're planning to share your works on social media then please do tag me at Sandhya Mane or hashtag Tangled with Sandhya so I get to see your lovely works there and I do stop by to comment a quick note these projects and these videos are for your personal use and no part of these can be used for any kind of commercial purposes to understand Zentangle method and to uh, get started on your own Zentangle journey send me an email uh, to get details about group classes or to schedule your private sessions uh, slots for the October month are now open now it's time to comment so please comment below and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that really helps me plan out my next set of videos also it's time to show some love so hit that like button share the video and subscribe to the channel I'll see you tomorrow with day 2 until then remember to breathe and smile see ya namaste